Let's look at the solution to weekly math challenge 29. And we have this very interesting mythical place that we're gonna visit during this episode. And the name of it is Gaustopia. And Gaustopia has an interesting calendar system with 7 days, Monday through Sunday, in a week, and only 5 months in a year. And each month contains 31 days, with one exception, on leap years. On leap years, February contains 32 days. And Gaustopians define leap year as follows. If the year is a multiple of 5, it is a leap year, unless it is also a multiple of 20. So we know 2010 is a leap year, because it is a multiple of 5. And 2015 is a leap year, because it's a multiple of 5. But 2020, even though it is a multiple of 5, it is a multiple of 20, so that disqualifies 2020 from being a leap year. So that's interesting, let's read on. February 14th, 2018, which is for some reason the date that this weekly mass challenge started. 2018 in Gaustopian date was Wednesday. Between year 1950 and year 1999 inclusive, so in Gaustopian date, how many years February 14th was Wednesday? And before I share my solution with you guys, I want to recognize this very special winner, no name, who was the very first person to correctly answer this question with the correct answer of 7 years. And we are about to find out. The answer that no name gave us is perfect. We are going to find that 1951, 1957, 1964, 1970, 1982, 1988, and 1994 are indeed the years on which the February 14th of 2018, February 14th of the year was Wednesday like 2018. So let's think about this. Before we really start diving into this, let's make sure we understand how, how the February 14th of some year in terms of Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, it's going to compare with February 14th of the year that precedes it or the year that follows it. Since we know for, for a normal year, for a normal regular year, we have each month containing 31 days and there are 5 months. So we know there are 155 days. So let's say, let's look at just normal years for now. Let's say February 14th, February 14th of some year turned out to be Wednesday. If we go to next year, if we go to next year, how is February 14th going to change? Is it going to still be Wednesday? Or is it going to be Thursday or Friday or any other date? Well, since we have 155 days in a year, and if you divide 155 by the cycle of 7, we get 2, 15, 2, and remainder of 1. So we have 22 groups of 7. So from from this year to the next year, we're going to cycle through 7 days 22 times, which is not going to change Wednesday. So we're still going to have Wednesday. Then we're adding an extra day. So going one extra day from Wednesday is going to carry us to Thursday for the next year because we're cycling uh, we are adding 7 days 22 times, that's always going back to Wednesday. But then, after all of the cycle, we are adding one extra day. So the February 14th for next year is going to be Thursday. And February 14th of the year before, year before is going to be Tuesday. So that's interesting. So we know February 14th is going to be Tuesday for this year. For next year, it's going to be Wednesday. For next year, it's going to be Thursday, then Friday, and so on. But of course, we are not taking into account the leap years. And obviously, leap years are a very important part of this question. And a very tricky part, in fact. Because you have to be careful as you read this definition and apply it. And we know... We know, let's, let's say, instead of this year being a regular year, let's say this year, when February 14th was Wednesday, was a leap year. Then what happens? Is it still going to be Thursday the next year? The answer is no. Because on leap years, February contains 32 days. So we are throwing in one extra day. So as we are going from 
this year to the next year, we are adding in one extra day. One extra day is being included in between the in between the two period. So instead of this being Thursday, it's actually going to be Friday because we have one extra day. Obviously, we have to be careful about this as we count our dates one by one as we are about to do. Since we are counting the number of Wednesdays from 1950 to 1999, and we know, we know for 2018, for 2018, the date in question, February 14th was Wednesday. Why don't we find out what, what February 14th was, what day of the week February 14th was in 1950, and then we can go along and start counting from there. So let's try to figure out what February 14th 1950 was given that February 14th, February 14th of 2018, 2018 was Wednesday. So before we take into, before we take leap years into account, let's think about this. To go from 2018 to 1950, we have to take away 68 years, and each year we take away if we don't look at, if we don't pay attention to leap years for now, it's going to be minus one day in terms of the day of the week. So we're taking away negative 68 extra days because we don't care about the seven day cycle. We only care about the extra day, extra pushback each year is going to provide. So we're looking at negative 68 days, but we also have to worry about the leap years. How many leap years are there between 1950 and 2018? Well, Let's start by looking at multiples of 5. So leap years are the years that are multiple of 5, but not multiple of 20. So we want to look at multiple of 5, which is 1950, 1955, all the way to 2015. So those are the multiples of 5 between 1950 and 2018. And since 1950 is 5 times 390, and 2015 is 5 times 403, there's going to be 403 minus 390 plus 1 were 14 leap years between 1950 and 2015. Actually, we have to take away, we have to take away the 1960, 1980, and 2000 because these are multiples of 20. So in fact, it's not going to be 14 leap years, but 11 leap years. And for the 11 leap years for each of them, we have to take away one extra day. So instead of doing minus 68 days, we have to do minus 68 minus 11 or minus 79 days. And the same thing as minus 77 days, which is a multiple of seven. So we're going to go back to Wednesday we're going back to Wednesday, then we're taking away two extra days. So going from Wednesday to Tuesday, then to Monday. So we know 1950, we know 1950 is going to be Monday on February 14th. So that's going to be Monday because we have to take away two extra days from Wednesday. So let me write this down. On 1950, on 1950, it was Monday. So what do we know? On 1951, we would expect it to be Tuesday because we are adding an extra day. But remember that 1950 is a leap year. 1950 is a leap year. So we're throwing in one extra day between 1950 and 1951. So 1951 is actually going to be Wednesday. So 1951 is Wednesday. So we have found our first year. That's one because that gives Wednesday. And now let's move on. So you'd expect, adding 7 to this, that 1958 may be Wednesday. So let's conjecture that 1958 is Wednesday. But it's not going to be because 1955 is a leap year. And because this leap year is in between 1951 and 1958, instead of this being Wednesday, 1958 is actually going to be Thursday, which is telling us the year before, then 1957 was Wednesday. So we have found two so far, 1951 and 1957. Let's go on. Let's add 7 to 1957. So let's say we expect 1964 to be Wednesday. Is it Wednesday? The answer is yes, because 1960 is not a leap year. That's going to, that's not going to contribute to adding one more extra day. So we know 1964 is Wednesday, so we have three of them so far. And you'd expect 1971 to be Wednesday, adding 7 to this. But we know 1965 is leap, 
leap year, and we know 1970 is also leap year. So instead of this being Wednesday, 1971 is actually going to be Friday. So how about 1970? Is that going to be Thursday or Friday? Well, 1970 is a leap year, and since leap year adds February 31st, as we are going to February 16th, I believe, as we are going to February 14th, we have to cycle through that extra February 31st. So instead of 1970 being Thursday, it's actually going to be Wednesday because of the additional February 31st that's going to push 1970 one to the left. So we know 1970 is Wednesday, so we have four of them so far. And you'd expect 1977 to be Wednesday, adding 7 to that. But we know 1970 is a leap year, and 1975 is a leap year. So 1977 is actually going to be, actually going to be Friday, adding 2 to that. And 1976 is going to be Thursday, going one back. How about 1975? Is that Wednesday? Well, 1975 is a leap year, so it's actually going to be Tuesday. Instead of it being Wednesday, we have to push it one back. So we don't have any Wednesday right there. So now let's look at 1976 and add 7 to that to get 1983. So we would expect this thing to be Thursday. But since 1980 is not a leap year, it is. It is actually Thursday. Which is telling us that 1982 has to be Wednesday. So that's another one. We found 5 so far. Now let's add 7 to this. So we may expect 1989 to be Wednesday, but 1985 is a leap year. That's telling us 1989, 1989 is actually Thursday, or then 1988 was Wednesday. So we found 6 so far, and adding 7 to that, we get 1995, and we would expect it to be Wednesday. But 1990 is a leap year, so instead of this being Wednesday, it's going to be Thursday. Also realize that the fact that 1995 is a leap year is not going to change this to th Friday because the, remember, for a leap year, we are adding one extra day to the end of February. And since we are looking at the middle of February, the fact that 1995 is a leap year is not going to affect this Thursday. It's, it's going to stay the same. So we know 1995 is Thursday. That's telling us 1994 was Wednesday, and that's 7 of them, and let's add another 7. That's getting us to 2001, expecting it to be Wednesday. But 1995 is a leap year, 2000 is not. So 2001 is actually going to be Thursday, and 2000, 2000 is going to be Wednesday. But do we count 2000? We do not, because we're looking at, we're looking at the number of the years that satisfy our constraint between 1950 and 1999 inclusive. So we do not count 2000. So how many do we have? How many do we have? We have 1951, 1957, 1964, 1970, 1982, 1988, and 1994, 7 years. And we're done. So the answer to this question is 7.